tutorial and you guys probably have seen from the thumbnail that it is an autumn inspired look. I put up a little poll on Twitter, I do that kind of regularly just to see what you guys would like to see and a lot of people said they would like to see a drugstore slash affordable makeup look for fall or autumn time as it's known here in Ireland. So I said I would come up with something that's kind of unique, really really fun and very easy to do. Now this is not everybody's cup of tea obviously because it is quite dark and smoky on the eyes and a very very deep dark lip. For the eyes I said I would pull this sucker out again because I have not used my Morphe 35O palette in a very 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 long time and I said that it was about time that I did a tutorial using it again. I have borderline hooded eyes. Very difficult for me to actually wear eye looks like this but I'm sure that they will look amazing on you so definitely give it a try if you like this type of look. I have like a deep orange in the crease and a really really dark brown on the lid. Something like the colours that we're seeing right now in this autumn season. I would recommend going with a nude lip if a dark lip is just a little bit OTT in your opinion with the eye look but that's just what I was feeling today and I said I would go with it because when you feel inspired just let the inspiration roll, that's what I say. So I am obviously going to be doing my Halloween tutorials and I don't want you to get bored with them so I'm going to try and keep my channel as usual. I'm going to try and keep it as diverse and unique as I possibly can. So let me know if there's any looks that you want to see, makeup looks or videos that you want to see. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and let's skip on into the tutorial. I love you guys. Mwah. So to start this tutorial I'm taking the NYX Photo Loving Primer and just apply that all over my skin. And then I'm going to apply my foundation, taking the last and finished foundation from Rimmel. This is one of my favourite foundations ever. I absolutely love the coverage. It gives you full coverage and it just covers up any blemishes and gives me a radiant appearance to my skin. And as always, I'm using my beauty blender to apply this because it gives a flawless application. I'm going to prime my eyelids with the I Love Stage Makeup base or eyeshadow base rather from Essence. Then I'm going to take the Morphe 35O palette for this entire look. I'm taking this lovely warm brown and placing that into my crease with a huge fluffy brush just so it's really really dispersed and really really blown out and smoky. And then I'm going to go in with this orange shade and placing it kind of just underneath where I've placed the brown and just kind of smoking it out again. I'm taking the Rimmel Shadow Stick and this is in the colour Trespassing Taupe. I absolutely love this. Just applying that as a base before I apply this dark brown shade on top. And I'm just using a flat shader brush just to pat that onto my lid. We want this really, really intense. So go over it a few times just to get as intense as you want. And then placing more of it into the crease, just below the crease rather, just to make sure that it doesn't look really choppy or that it's not just plonked onto the lid. You want to make it look like it's transitioning into the orange shade. Make sure you blend, 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 blend this out as well because you don't want any harsh lines. And then going in with this cream shade and applying that underneath my brow bone and into my inner tear duct. And that's basically it for the eyes for now. And then I'm taking my NYX brow gel and just placing that through my brows. I will write down the colour below. And then going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in this dark brown shade just to contour. I will write down the shade number below. I'm just going to contour underneath my cheekbones and around my forehead. And to blend it all out, I'm using my Beauty Blender. There is no tool like this to blend out cream contour. Honestly, it's the best way to blend it out. And then using Creamy Beige just to apply that underneath my eyes. So again, this is from LA Girl Conceal Pro Conceal as well. Whoops. I absolutely love these for cream contouring. They give you a really natural appearance. I just think it's amazing and it doesn't crease underneath my eyes. Now I need to set that down so I'm taking my L'Oreal. This is my blur powder and it's in the lightest shade just to brighten up the under eye. And then to set the rest of the face, I'm taking the NYC Translucent Powder. Just so it will set that contour without adding extra colour. 
Then for underneath the lower lash line, I'm taking that orange again, just smoking it out loads and loads, and then going in with the brown closer to the lashes, just to kind of create a little bit of depth. And then I'm going to apply a few coats of mascara to my lower lashes. I'm taking my L'Oreal Voluminous. It's one of my all-time favourite mascaras. It just makes my lashes look amazing. And then I'm going to take the Rimmel Scandalized Pencil in bronze and apply that to the waterline. I didn't want to go in with black. It's a little bit too harsh. And I know we already cream contour, but just to go over it again, I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Contour Palette. I'm just going in with one of the contour shades just to kind of, kind of re-contour everything again so it's a little bit more noticeable. For blush, I'm taking Rimmel Santa Rose, which is the gorgeous neutral shade and for highlight I'm taking boozy brunch from wet and wild this is gorgeous and just applying that to the highest points in my face and then I'm going to add my lips so I'm going in with creature from Colourpop to line my lips so you can use any kind of dark vampy lip color that you have to line and then I'm going to take this gorgeous kind of wine color I don't know what you would call it it's like a deep color this is from Milani absolutely love their liquid lipsticks thank you so much guys for watching this tutorial I really hope you enjoyed it and it was highly requested today on snapchat so thank you guys for sending in your requests and thanks for watching I love you guys so much and I will see you very very soon